hairs and get energy out of it in liquid. I understand, thank you. I have uh, one uh, question, if I may, <clears throat> about uh, GANs of GANSES. I made the reactor to make the GANs of GANSES of, from hemoglobin. And um, I don't know if it is correct, but uh, I made the two type of hemoglobin, like uh, you said. One type is uh, iron between nano-coated copper and zinc. And the uh, type two is iron between uh, nano-coated zinc and zinc. I collected uh, this uh, hemoglobin, but interesting uh, from my point of understanding, the hemoglobin forms just uh, on the nail, exactly on the interaction field with the with the uh, amino acid. On the bottom of these reactors, I have something else, something uh, between CH3 and zinc oxide, I think. And I collected just you this. You have made the ganses of ganses of hemoglobin, yeah? Yes, I, I try to do this. And uh, if you, if Rick uh, can, uh, can uh, uh, leave me to, to share this picture, if you can, that you can say what I did and uh, if it is correct. May I? Yeah, carry on. We were talking about this yesterday. What was it doing before? Can you see it? Yeah. So, this is the, the reactor. Uh, and I, I made, in these two uh, bottles. Everything uh, was nano coated before. No. So, I nano coated the bucket. I nano coated the these uh, little things. Uh, in that came the gans. After then, I made the uh, capacitor. But in the capacitor, I used just. Uh, the GANS is from the, the bottom of the two reactors, nothing else. So this is the capacitor. And after then I filled up these two in, these are two types of hemoglobin, but also I made a, a, a volume um, gradient between the two. After them, I put them in this reactor and I filled, filled the reactor up with the GANS waters from these two reactors, so not uh, fresh water with salt. It is the same uh, GANS water from, from these uh, reactors. You can see the reactors there. Uh, on the left side is uh, type 2, that means uh, nano-coated zinc and zinc. And here is the iron nail. And in the reactor from the right side is nano-coated copper with zinc and the iron. And uh, this is, this is uh, hemoglobin type 1. And uh, like I said, here, if you can see my mouse, here is the point of interaction with the amino acid. And from my point of understanding, just this here is hemoglobin, not what is on the bottom. I don't know if I'm correct. Yeah, but, but why don't you collect it at that point? That's correct. I collect, I, I collect it, but just this, this red stuff. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and this is uh, hemoglobin type 2, the reactor for, from type 2 with uh, nano-coated zinc and zinc, and uh, you can see you the see color. see what you can do. Let me, let me just, say one second, just stay yeah. where you are. If you put the same uh, iron on the copper side, on the nano-copper side, yes, you will see the difference and you can use the two as a potential difference in the strength. But there will be a different blood. The, 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 this is what we call the blood cells with the, what you use on the zinc side they carry their strength at the emotional level. The ones on the copper side carry uh, strength on the physical emotional level. 
If you put one zinc, uh, one stick, iron stick, in the middle between the two plates, you will see the difference too. Yes, I saw this. Uh, I, I made them in many ways. Uh, I have sometime this iron nail between the two plates and it was another color. Yeah. So, so what, you can, what you are doing, what do you collect? How, what have you collected between the two ganses? Uh, what I put in these uh, little jars was just uh, just this this type. Yes, not, but not from when the you collect, uh -huh. But when you collect, what do you collect when you put the two in the tubes, as you showed us? Uh, I don't have pictures, but uh, I put out the nail. And uh, I washed the nail with uh, with some plasma water from the reactor. And no, 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 no. What I'm trying the picture you're showing us now, yeah. Yeah. When you run this, what do you collect at the bottom? I don't know what I collect. Uh, it runs about uh, one and a half, maybe two weeks. This reactor, I have a lot of uh, amino acid uh, on the on the top, and uh, on the bottom, it's a very very thin and uh, fine uh, powderish something but if i look from above it is transparent i cannot see it but if i look from from the side then i can see this uh, half a millimeter or one millimeter of gans i think and uh, there are two there are two flaws with this um, first of all you have two nanomaterials in the tube Yes. It would have been eased, so now you created what you're collecting at the bottom, you're creating another Gans, because you got the two elements. Yes. Just happened to be in the Gans of blood. So, as I've suggested before, fill up the Ganses as it is, don't put a wire in, connect the two tubes together, with a liquid of each one, that they can mix. Yes. And then watch what you produce at the bottom. That is the Gans of the Gans. Here you 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 are not you're looking at the material, you see the fat on the top, but in reality it's the two elements you dropped in. This is not a Gans processing. You connect it as I've, I've, I've said in other teaching, just take those two wires out, you put a capacitor in there, just connect it to a wire. On the top there will be mixture of the two. And the bottom, they stay as they are. And then you see what you collect. So you mean, uh, I not need the capacitor, I need a tube with the mixture of the ganses. Yeah, let's see what it is. In a way, you gotta take, get rid of this, you gotta get rid of this, you gotta get rid of this. Yes. All you need is a tube, yeah? You leave your ganses here, and then you allow the system to work and see what it produces. This has to be a salt water. And with this thing, you can go with the minus salt, which goes about 0 0.5, or go plus to one and a half. Uh -huh. I used the, the, the water from, from the reactors to be in Gans' state. No. So you yeah, can could do, fresh, but, fresh but, water. Yeah, you can use, if you stay in a Gans condition, then you produce a Gans, uh, what do you call it? But try to use the liquid gas from CO2. Uh, you'll find a very good result. Or you can add, uh, uh, what do you call it? Certain amount of CH3 in the process, outside, not inside. Yes, I understand, thank you. Thank I you very much. Really. It's fantastic and, uh, to see what you've done. But go a step further and then, what you actually can create here, if you can put a pipit in, whatever you create here is the Gans of the difference between the two elements. Yes, this was my question. <laughs> what I produce and, and uh, for what purpose I can... What you produce, it's uh, very much, if you look at it, you have a blood from the copper side, which is the physical side, you have a blood from the emotional side, and I'll tell you something you'll find very strange here. If you pick up the field, 
of the GANS here, and you can test this GANS. Yes, that, that was my purpose, but I, I was not sure if I understand it correctly. Yes, yes but, but I but have it's to... Either, it, this is as a matter level. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Cash. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for such a beautiful...